I hope so. Well, just in time for the weekend, there's a new feel-good movie all about mending relationships. That's right. Oscar-nominated actor Liam Neeson and his oldest son are starring in Made in Italy. Astrid in the ATL spoke with some of the stars, and she's got a preview. Okay, so no kidnapping or shooting scenes in this movie for the Taken star Liam Neeson. Liam's co-star and real-life son Michael Richardson tells me what it's like to work with his dad and how the script parallels both of their lives. We'll mark the view as a 10, but the potholes down that drive are a serious drawback. Made in Italy was actually filmed in Italy. We did this like a year ago. I, I'm, I want to be there so badly right now. But... <laughs> Hopefully people, yeah, have the same reaction. They watch it and like can escape for a little bit. And what a great view to escape to. This story is set against the beautiful landscape of Tuscany. It stars real life father and son, Liam Neeson and Michael Richardson as father and son. How was it working with your dad again? Cause this I think is your second time. But he's super easy going guy. And I'm, <laughs> it's funny, he's very patient. And that's something I need to learn, you know, in film, film requires a lot of patience. They say life imitates art, and that is certainly true in Made in Italy. Why are you selling it? Jack's memories of the house are not so good. In the film, Liam and Michael are forced to sell their home. The duo shares that same experience. So that summer, we had to let go of an old family home that we had, that I'd grown up in, my mom had grown up in, um, that my grandfather had for years and years and years. So that was the summer that we we had to let go of it. Another element of reality, Liam and Michael's characters are grieving the loss of their wife and mother. I don't remember anything. You can't remember her, but I can't forget. Liam and Michael suffered a similar tragedy. Liam's wife and Michael's mother, Natasha Richardson, died in a skiing accident in 2009. Reading that script, coupled with the loss of my mom and everything, so, so many parallels and like, you know, yeah, just very close to home. As the characters renovate the home, they're also unknowingly restoring their relationship. It's a good mirror, you're right, in that way, that we, at, at the start, hate each other, and because we were forced to spend time together and <laughs> uproot all of this stuff, in the end, you know, we, um, we come, become best friends and, and, and love each other. Everyone lets everyone down at some point. How you come back from that? That's romance. And you can catch Made in Italy right now on demand. That's all for Astrid in the ATL.